What's going on YouTube? Subung Saint bringing you another review this week. This week we're going to take a look at the Vape MX box by VapeMX.com. Now, there's only one location that I've been able to find this other than VapeMX.com, so I will put a link in the description as always. But before we start talking about this mod, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about the channel. I will be doing only one video, maybe a vlog in the end of the week, just because I'm doing a lot of overtime, so I'm constantly tired at night. Oh, excuse me. Night shift is just not meant for human beings, man. I'm tired. All I want to do is sleep. Look at my eyes. They black. See? Look at them. Look at them. But anyways, guys, also wanted to ask you guys a huge favor. As I am constantly trying to improve this channel, I am looking for what will help make this channel better. Do I need a better camera? Do I need better audio? Do I need better lighting? You know, I got these two umbrella doohickey things here. But, you know, I'm trying my best here to give you guys the best experience that I can give you. As always, I'm going to always voice my honest opinion on whether I like a product or don't like a product. I just don't really care what companies think about me. I mean, I'm here to give you guys my opinion as a consumer because I pay for these products just like you. So we need to know whether or not you're going to like it or whether it's worth your money because let's be real, guys. I mean... We don't have thousands, I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I don't have thousands of dollars to just keep throwing down on vape stuff, so I want to know what's good and what's not good. So, that is what's important to me, and that is what I'm going to continue to bring on this channel, no matter what. I don't care what's going to happen, it's not going to be nothing like, you know, dry knuckles, anything like that. Anyways, guys, let's take a look at this Vape MX box get down to the nitty and the gritty and we'll come back to FaceTime vape on it talk about it and I will tell you my pros and my cons so let's get down to it guys packaging that the vape MX comes in it comes in a nice little tin can here pop it open here I'm of course the mods not gonna be in it for you guys because I took it out you do get this nice little microfiber cloth here I guess so you can clean your mod you do get this thing as you open it up comes in with this stuff which tells you that their user manual is on their official website which is a little little awkward but it is there anyways you also get these battery script which I do not have no idea what they are for so I will push those to the side. Here's your micro USB cord. Here's what your mod comes in. Comes in this little sleeve here to protect it. it has a nice little foam here. And that about covers it. Now let's get to the nitty and the gritty of the device, guys. So, and we sneaking in there for. Anyways, here it is the Vape MX mod, 150 watt temp control really nice little mod here um aluminum on the outside right here stainless steel buttons they're nice and clicky kind of mushy clicky all in one usb port right there a little bit of mx branding now 510 connection is spring loaded go ahead and get you guys this is spring loaded now the con that i have about this they have a little cup here now this is supposed to con uh, catch your juice as it flows out of your devices rdas all that but it is 22 millimeters so you know it is not gonna really catch too much juice so it is removable you can flip it over to where it's just a flat end but you can't go without it because it is protruding outside and you do have a lot of problems with RDAs screwing down on it and I will show you guys that right now as you guys can see I have the highly popular twist it messes RDA right here go to screw it in yeah gappage guys gappage now it'll work it'll fire all that but you got that gappage. B 
big con to me. I am very nitpicky about that. And especially if you pay over $100, you guys shouldn't have to worry about Gap. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. I think that is a big con about this device right here. I mean, go ahead and push that to the side here. As you guys can see, it's kind of like a leathery on the outside, sway on the inside. As you guys can see, you push open right here. If you ain't got no fingernails, you're just like me, you're gonna have to pick at it a little bit. And this comes completely off. These are interchangeable. It does have a little bit of sway here, mag four magnets on both sides. Nice little collar. And they do have a lot of collar options, you know, orange, red, green, a bunch of different patterns on it and all that. Now when you go to buy them, it's gonna become an option of black or white. I got the black. Kind of should have got the white, but it is what it is. Now, whenever you order these separately, I think they're $12.99 or $14.99, something like that. Just for this, for the colors. As you guys can see, it is pretty magnetized pretty well. So, take a check here. We'll take this out. Batteries out here. And put those to the side. As you guys can see here. We do have the positive, negative marked, spring loaded on the bottom, it is plastic on the inside, so yeah, that's what gives it that lightweight feel to it. Now, as you guys can see, these are a little bendy. Now, whether they are break or not, I do not know. I do not want to force it too much because then I'll be out of mod, so yeah, definitely I mean, they seem bendable. I don't know how long they will do over time. Only time will be able to tell. So let's put the batteries in. As you guys can see, positive up. So you're gonna put this negative side first, since it is spring loaded. And here's your other battery. You gotta put your positive down, negative up. And there's your batteries, presto. As you guys pop this on, magnetizes pretty good. Have not had any problems with this really falling off at all. So you definitely don't have to worry about that. You can fill your batteries. So yeah, now let's get into the menu system a little bit, guys. Uh, let me see if I can get it to focus here. There's your menu system probably can't see it all too well so I will try to zoom it in the best that I can okay as you guys can see there's your ohms your battery meter your watts volts puff counter is right there I think I've cleared mine or something but anyways this is how many seconds you hit on it. It does say no tank. Which I have found that this mod is better for tanks. I've had better connections. I mean, not connections, but, you know, it sets flusher with tanks. So, I've been pretty much running my tank on it. You do have, like, a plastic film over top of it to protect your screen. I did take mine off, so just, yeah. Now, in order to get in the menu system, it's three clicks of the fire button. One, two, three. Navigate with the up and down. Temp control, bypass mode, which bypass mode makes it unregulated series mod. Go in the system, press the fire button. You can flip your screen. Puff counter. Core protect. Now, the core protect here is supposed to be when you have it on. And you put like say a nickel coil on there and you have it in wattage mode it will automatically kick it into nickel mode or titanium mode whatever mode you're using it in so that is a pretty cool feature let me get back in there go back in the system and resistance adjustment you can adjust your resistance lock it all that good stuff puff counter here I don't know what that is now, when you go into power mode, you have a decline option or a gain option. Basically, decline 
is whenever you're going to hit and you let go of the button and you want it to decline into wattage mode. Now, they have a gain mode here to where you can have it to where it ramps up to the wattage that you have it set to. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's there. One, two, three. Let me get back in there for you. Let's go into... Let's go into temp mode, Fahrenheit Celsius settings, and settings here. That is just a coincidence, guys. <laughs> Anyways... In order to adjust your wattage in temp control mode, you have to go back out to wattage mode, adjust your temperature that way, then come back to temp mode. It does go all the way down. 200 degrees Fahrenheit. It does not round robin. Once it gets to 200, it stops. So, scroll all the way back up. 600 degrees Fahrenheit so and if you want it in Celsius you have to go into Celsius and yeah guys so that is pretty much all I have to report for you guys and it does go all the way up to 150 watts it goes all the way down to 5 watts Urch. Yeah, per timed that perfect, didn't I? Anyways, guys, that is the menu system. You can flip your screen. One, two, three here. As I showed you, you have to go into the system settings. Go on the screen. Flip it. I don't know what I did there. I thought I flipped it, but I guess I didn't flip it. Ah! Anyways, that is the vape mx mod here as you guys can see you can see a little bit of cords and stuff in there but it's all right got your battery venting a little bit of vape mx here now these screws right here are a little bit protruding i do not know if you guys can see it see how it's got a little bit of protrusion right here so definitely be careful when you're setting this on a table or a desk or anything that you're worried about scratching up because this mod will do it. It does. And can you guys hear it? Let me see. Lift this thing up here. Yeah. So it will scratch your table up or your desk or whatever you have this device sitting on. So definitely be wary about that. As always, let's go back to FaceTime and we will talk about the nitty and the gritty and yeah, pros and the cons guys, let's do this. Alright guys, that was the nitty and the gritty of the Vape MX. Now let me tell you guys my pros and my cons with this device. Overall, I love the vape that I get with this, it's a great vape. Cons though, guys, if you're going to come out with a mod, Make sure you test multiple atomizers to screw on top. I mean, to me, that kind of pees me off that I get a mod and like my favorite RDA will not screw down on it. So that is a big con to me. If you can't screw your RDA on it, what's the point of having that device? I mean, really. I mean, if you have a spring-loaded 510, you guys need to check it. Make sure all RDAs work, well not all of them because, you know, obviously they're not. But you need to test like different 510 levels make sure they fit. I mean, that's a big con to me. I mean, I'm really scared. I'm really, really, really anal about things like that is I got a big old gap between my RDA and my mod. I do not like that. I mean, that is not attractive. I mean, I like walking around being like, hey, hey, check out what I got. But if I do that and I got a huge gap between my RDA and my mod, we got issues, man. I'm not going to get no love. Anyways, other than that, I love that these things are color changeable or easily to, easy to remove. Another con I got about this device here is the screws on the bottom are really, really protruding. I have tried to screw them in multiple times and they just keep on screwing. It's just like they're never ending screws, man. It's just constant thing. So definitely be wary. If you lean ladies on your table or anything like that, it will probably scratch your table, especially if you slide it, anything like that. I have had that issue where I've sat it on my desk and I was like, dude, really? Like, really? 
I mean, when you pay good money, like, especially if you pay over $100 for a mod, you don't expect it to scratch up your stuff, and you expect your 510 or your RDAs to fit flush on it, all that. I mean, don't get me wrong, great vape on this mod. I really enjoy the vape on it. I really like how light it is. But the lightness on this mod is kind of, like, too light. It's kind of, I don't know, it's just... Okay, your tank full of juice probably weighs more than this mod. And that's saying a lot, man. I mean, to me, it's kind of... It, I like that it's light, but then in a way, I don't like that it's light. Because to me, I like good build quality. I like it to know, hey, I got my money's worth here. This is a solid device. It feels nice in the hand, all that. Don't get me wrong, this feels great in the hand. I love that it's lightweight. It's definitely a good mod for on the go, and it's really small. But, come on, man, put, put a little bit of extra weight in that, man. Come on, now, I want to I wanna know that I'm feeling quality right here. When I'm spending over a hundred and some dollars, I want to know that I got a quality device that my RDAs can fit on. Yeah, so anyways, that is my pros and cons about it. I don't really have all that much. The only cons I have about it is, of course, my RDA is not sitting flush and the bottom screws. And the lightness on it is kind of a con to me just because, you know, I kind of want a device that's got some meat to it. I want a device that's, you know, got some quality. Now, don't get me wrong. I feel like this is quality, but I've really, honestly, I've only vaped on this at work I, or at home. I do not take this to work. Because I'm scared to death that I'm going to break it. <laughs> and if I break it, then I can't review it for you guys. So then that's just a waste of money for me. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. That is my pros and my cons. The pros on this device is the absolute great vape on it. I love the vape experience I get off of it. I get a good, decent hit. It's just awesome. And I do not like the gain and the decline option on there. I mean, I like that it's on, I mean, I guess it's cool that it gives you that option, but I'm not gonna use it because, you know, I am I wanna push the button and get a hit, and when I let go, it stop. I don't want my coil to keep burning or something. Yeah, you know what I mean? The, the gain is when, you know, when you push the fire button and it just slowly gains up to your wattage that you want, and then it mellows out. Now, when you decline, when you have your decline on, it's going to be when you let go of your button, it's going to start declining. Like, your wattage is going to start declining, so it's not going to give you the full hit. So, it's kind of going to, so I kind of don't like that feature. I kind of think that's a little weird. Um, other than that, guys, I really don't have that much to report to you guys. I mean, as always, don't let my opinion sway you guys. If you think you want this mod, then awesome, go pick it up. If you don't want this mod, then wait for the next one. I mean, I'm just telling you guys my honest opinion here. So, yeah. And until then, guys, I will see you guys for the next Nitty and Gritty. Don't forget to leave in the comment section what you think I can do to improve this channel. Do I need better lighting? Do I need better camera? Do I need better audio? Anything like that. Do I need better editing? I am... I'm, I'm finicking with my editing. I'm getting a little better, but you know, it's just I'm not I'm not tech savvy. I'm really not. So, I mean, this is kind of learning for me. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I play video games, but that don't take no tech savvy, man. I just push a button. So, anyways, guys, just let me know in the comment sections what you think I could do to improve, or if I can do anything to improve, and what you would, uh, and what you would like to see out of me. I mean. I want to do more than one video. I really do. But should I do a review video and then like a vlog? Is that something that you guys would like to see? Would you like to see like a device review and then an e-juice review? Just let me know in the comment section below. I will be definitely checking in on that. And as always, I will be commenting back. I will answer back to your comments as much as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave the like. Comment. Comment. Subscribe if you want to see more of the nitty and the gritty. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.